On June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to iCool participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. For University and U19 category, the Cold Space server will send the robot its own coordinates while the robot is searching in the virtual world. The location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategy such as path planning and search algorithms. Additionally, for university and U19 categories, there are signal block zones which are surrounded by pink dotted lines. When a robot enters the signal block zone, its coordinates information will be blocked. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. My name is Dorka Jurás, I am from Kisvárda, Hungary, and I study here at the St. Leslie Catholic Secondary School. Um, my category in this competition is the RoboCup Co-Space Challenge, the Rescue Challenge, U19. Um, I'm still relatively new to uh, programming. I have been to one of your RoboCup competitions as a viewer in Germany, which I think had been four years ago. Um, so going into this, I didn't really know what I was going to do to get this far. Um, your videos had helped a lot. My strategy was mostly just following along to your videos, videos and um, I tried to make the robot go faster in swamplands. Um, and I also tried, um, I tried a lot to get the turning uh, to work right, because in the last challenge, in the last map, uh, there were a lot of corners which had been uh, uh, hard to figure out how to get around. Um, but I think it had been really fun so far, and um, I hope that I will get to come back later and um, try again so yeah <laughs> um. uh, my name is Gawan Yoko Tsinghan and I am from Singapore my category is Co-Space Rescue U19 and I uh, have and I'm, I've, I've been involved in robotics for two and a half years now Some strategies I decided to adopt for my robot are to avoid blue and to go to bank. I made my robot stay in blue as blue not only has very few items to pick up, it's also very difficult for my robot to leave the blue area. So I decided to make my robot avoid the blue in entirely. I did this by, make, by adding programs called green which makes my robot uh, turn away from the green air color when it sees it and I made a border command so that when position Y is uh, the border I made a border command so that if position Y is less than 60 which is this it uh, my robot will turn away from it uh, these of these commands and uh, as for go to the bank I created a program where in a sequence so that if uh, Y is more than 195 uh, my robot would go the robot will first uh, make go to the bank equal to 1 GTB the variable go to the bank make it 1 and when go to bank equals to 1, the robot will check its y coordinates. 
if y is um, less than this, less than 250, um, my robot will move upwards uh, to this position, and once it's at that position, it will move. It will make go to bang to two, and when go to bang is two position, uh, it will check its y its x position, and if its x is here, it will move to the right, and if its x is here, it will move to the left, and when it's in this area. It will, uh, it will make go to bank equals to three, and when go to bank equals to three, um, it will move down until it sees the bank color, and it will make the variable go to, go to bank GTB equals zero, so that my, uh, so that my robot will bank, my robot will bank, and the variable will reset, causing no bugs to occur. And as for the bang at the bottom, uh, I program my robot so that when y is less than 70, uh, my robot will make the variable bang bottom equal to 1. And when it equals to, and when bang bottom equals to 1, uh, it will make my robot turn to the right. And when it sees, it will make my robot turn to the right. And when it sees the bank, it will bank and set the variable back to zero so that no bugs will occur and my ba my robot will bank and leave the thing properly. Uh, this experience was enjoyable and educational as I learned uh, new ways of fixing problems and I, had, and I had fun doing it. I would like to thank the organizers for allowing me to take part in this competition and I hope for more of this to occur in the future. Thank you. And off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Blue Robot has entered the black object area, and the black object is worth 20 points. Red Robot is full. Blue Robot is full. Blue Robot is depositing. Red robot needs to make a deposit before it can continue collecting. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing.
blue robot is depositing. Red robot is full. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is in the swamp. Speed is restricted. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. Blue robot wins this challenge. Congratulations.